In this video, we are going to look at calculating the R1 plus R2 value for our circuits. Now you'll get two types of questions. The first question would be, you have calculated the size of the live cable and it wants you to now calculate the size of the earth cable or the question will give you a design and it will tell you what size live, what size earth, and it will ask you to evaluate whether the design is correct. So the first type of question we'll look at is where we calculate the size of the live, and therefore we need to now calculate the size of the earth. So on your screen, you'll see the cable calculation where we've got a distribution circuit. The main board on the left-hand side in the main house is gonna supply that small DB in the stable block. So just to save time, I have calculated the size of that cable and it comes in at 6 mil live. So we need the formula for R1 plus R2. R1 plus R2. And the formula is milli ohms per meter times table I3 times length all over a thousand. Now this millions per meter value we will get from our on-site guide. Now let's have a quick look now. If I go to my R1 plus R2 tab, that is in appendix I, table I, uh, I1. So I've worked out I need 6 mil live cable. Oh, I'm going to be using 6 mil live cable. To size the earth cable, we start by using the same size earth as the live cable. So in our first column, as you can see, it says line conductor size. The second column says protective conductor size. And then this third column will give me my resistance per meter, this milli ohms per meter value. So my first question, I calculated that I would use a 6 mil live, so therefore I size the earth to the same. So I have 6 mil live, 6 mil earth, my milli ohm per meter value for this question would be 1.16, so I should quickly jot that down, that will be uh, uh, 1.16, sorry, 6.16, and now I need to take the multiplier from table I3, which is just on the next page. Table I3, the multipliers. Now we've got a choice of cables, if we've got 70 degree thermoplastic or 90 degree thermoplastic. In your cable calculation question, it will tell you what type of cable you're using. If the question doesn't tell you what type of cable you're using, always assume that we are using 70 degree thermoplastic. That is the standard type of cable we get. Now it asks us about our conductor uh, installation. Is the conductor incorporated in a cable, uh, is it not incorporated in the cable and not bunched? It says C note one. Or is it incorporated in the cable or bunched? It says CNO2. So not incorporated in a cable, that would be singles. And not bunched would mean there's no CG factor. Our circuit is the only circuit that. If it was in singles and it was bunched with other cables, if we had a CG factor, it would be this value. It's... Um, not bunched, but it is, it's not incorporated in the cable, but it is bunched. If our conductor is incorporated in a cable, that is for any multi-core cable, SWA, flex, twin and earth, etc., any multi-core cable. So to be honest, the majority of the time for your exam questions, your table Y3 multiplier will be 1.2 but it is worth just checking. So if you've got singles and no CG factor, it will be table one, it will be value 1.04. For our question, 
we are using uh, SWA cable. So it is incorporated within a cable, so our multiplier would be 1.2. Put that times 1.2 and L is the length. For this question, the length was 30 meters and then over a thousand. So if we punch those values or those numbers into our calculator, we will get 0 0.2 ohms. And that is how you work out your R1 plus R2 for that type of question. Now we move on to the other side of question where the cable sizes are given in the question and it is asking us to now evaluate the circuit that has been drawn or been designed. So on your screen you will now see another cable calculation question. Uh, this one is a little bit complex, but if we just look at the bit on the far right hand side, it says mineral insulated, uh, light duty, thermoplastic, clip direct, the length is 75 metres, uh, we've got 1 mil, 1.5 mil live, 1.5 mil neutral and 1 mil earth. So if we are to verify this design, they are the values that we will use. So let's have a look at that. So let's do uh, R under that one. So we've got R1 plus R2. It's right out of our formula. So it helps us to memorise it. Millions per metre times table I3 times length over a thousand. Now let's have a look at our table. So, so the table I1. So we've got 1.5 mil live and 1 mil earth. So my million per meter value is 30.20, 30.2. Let's put that 30.2. This question. Um, it is not ran with any other circuits, but mineral insulated is a multi-core cable. So again, on our table I3 factor, our conductor is incorporated within a cable, so again our uh, I3 value is 1.2. 1 1.2 1 .2 times the length, which was 75 metres, over a thousand. So if we now punch that value into our formula, uh, into our calculator, sorry, we get 2.75 ohms. Uh, oh no, that's sorry, incorrect, that is 2.72 ohms. 2.72 ohms. And that is how we use the R1 plus R2 formula. That's how we use table I1 and table I3. And what I would suggest to students is this formula here, R1 plus R2 equals milliohms per meter times table I3 times length divide a thousand. I would write that at the bottom of your on-site guides page 218. Write it down here underneath the table. You're perfectly allowed to do that and that will help you remember that. So if you've been onto the website of electricalstudent.co.uk and you have purchased the uh, cable calculation guides, brilliant well done we are with well, this would be this is step eleven and it gives you all of the formulas and it tells you what pages to look at there. But there you go. That is how we calculate, or that's how we, we use the formula for R1 plus R2. Um, remember, if the question doesn't tell you what size cable to use, 
you calculate the size of the live and then you use the same size earth when you start with your earthing calculation. And once you're now at this step, once we're at this step we have our R1 plus R2 value. So if for this question would be 2.72, our next step would be looking at working out our ZS which would be in the next video. So the next part would be ZS equals ZE plus R1 plus R2. That would be the next step. Thank you for watching the video. Remember, we've got plenty of other videos on all of the other tests that you can do, and there are also many videos on cable calculations and all sorts of things that you're going to need to know to complete level 2 and level 3 in electrical installation. Now if you want my tabs that I have on my BS7671, visit the website electricalstudent.co.uk where you can purchase those. Also on the website, loads of free stuff, loads of practice tests, mock exam questions and such like. Working with electrical installation guys, remember, be safe, most importantly, Listen to your lecturers, he or she definitely knows best. Take care guys, see you soon.